Hello, in today's video I will be showing how to get the uh, Super Sport series unreleased vehicles in GTA 5. I made a video about the Doomsday vehicles, however that way doesn't work anymore. So what you will need is a uh, the way that worked that I found that works as of right now. Because, right now, the script hook hasn't been updated. <clears throat> so, what you will need is a save editor. And this is the one that I use. It will be in the description. And then this will also be in the description. You will need to... to what's in my downloads? Hi. You will need to download them. So I'll do that really quick. Robot. Ooh. Okay, so that's downloading. Now, <clears throat> I'll go down with this. Once it uh, loads. Is the internet down again? There we go. And there it is. So. <clears throat> Oops. Downloads. No, that's pictures. Okay, so now we will extract both. You will want to go to this and install it. And then copy this into your, uh, yeah, your GTA 5 install folder. Also, you will need Open IV or VI, I can't remember what it is. Open I let's try IV. Yeah, open IV. <clears throat> you will need to download and install this. Once you have those, what you need to do is oh, also back up your uh GTA. What I recommend, what I did, is I copied it and then pasted, but uh, well, made a backup, and then I renamed the main one Vanilla, and then this is my modded one, <clears throat> and then when I want to play online, I rename this to Modded and then remove the Vanilla part. But anyways, once you have that. You will want to open Open IV. Go to Grand Theft Auto. You might have to tell it where your game is. There are better, more specific tutorials on how to use this. Alright, so then you go up here with the little thingy. And then you need the ASI loader. You can use any ASI loader, but I find this one to be the easiest to use install like that because you can use the tool for other stuff okay so now you go to the save editor we need the um multiplayer single player vehicle plugin thingy so that we can have the vehicles spawned because without it they will be uh, despawned when you try to get in them and when script hook is updated, you can use that plugin to spawn them instead of using a save editor. <clears throat> so now, <clears throat> with the save editor open, you go to the GTA 5 one, open PC. We go to your uh, latest and open. Yes, I think that was my latest save. If not, whatever. And then it'll load everything. There you go. Go down to garage. And then we'll load vehicles. Um, there we go. Okay, so the way I had to get it, I had to make it work, is I had to use the impound. So you go to the character you want, go to impound, 
and then select a slot. I'll use the first one. Now, the top ones, the ones with the star, are the current unreleased stuff. Or uh, Okay, they're the, the newest. Sorry. Let's go with the Jester Classic, because it is a Supra, and anyone that watches my channel will know I love Supras. Um, do stock, blah 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 blah, okay, and then we save it. Save successful. Okay, now I will switch this to the game. So the screen will go black for a second, like so. You should now see the game, hopefully. Can't tell. Okay. Ah. Uh, game capture properties. Oh, it would help if I selected the game in game capture. So, now you should see the game, or not. Properties, game capture. Okay, just uh, bear with me. Um, doesn't want to work. Okay, so what I will do is go to settings, display, no graphics, and go to windowed. Windowed. I'm not used to only using one monitor, so normally I would be able to see everything that is going on without having to alt tab and whatnot, but I'm only using one monitor. So anyways, now that we're in game, we will need to load that save. So that should be this one. And then we wait for it to save. I mean, load. which for some reason takes forever. There we go. Side, grab a car. I'm using the Supra because Supra. Oh. I don't think I'll be editing this video, so just uh, bear with me while I drive there. Hopefully, uh, script hook will be updated soon, because then you can use my, uh, my old tutorial. So anyways, you need to make your way down to the impound. Shouldn't take too long. I could stop hitting stuff. Oh yeah, and by the way, this only works on PC. <laughs> well, I don't know if it works on console, but I'm pretty sure it only works on PC. But anyways... Almost there... Go! Oh. You don't know, Impound is here. There should be a car icon. Oh, it didn't work because I didn't have a vehicle in the impound. Uh, two, right. Okay, so, anyways, 
make sure you have a vehicle in the impound before doing all of that. Because as you can see, I have the car right here. So if there's a car in the impound, swap that car with the one you want to uh, bring in from multiplayer. So hopefully that will work for you. Just a simple mistake on my end. But um, yeah, that's how you do it. Unfortunately, majority of the people on YouTube that show the cars don't show how to get them. And it's bullshit, because there's no reason they can't show it. So, here you go. Hope this helps. <laughs> Any questions, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching.